Alright, hello guys, welcome to this new video. I'm TFC Dark and I'm gonna explain you guys now how to uh, work with Procon. Uh, what you do first is you go to the this link over here, which I did post in the description below. Um, you download it by clicking on this button, latest version. So you'll get um, yeah, the game, uh, the, the program itself. Uh, once you did that, you extract the folder and you'll get all those files over here. How to have those? You open your Procon.exe uh, folder uh, file, sorry, that will make the Procon tool running. Um, you will have then uh, this screen over here. Click on Create Connection. You enter all the details you need. So uh, yeah, or you know them, or uh, you get them from a friend or something. Uh, for me, it is right now. This server dot creatures dot com. Type in your username and the password. Then you click on the connect button. And we'll start loading up, and here you go. You're on it. Just click on it. So now you will uh, see uh, all the players who are in the game. Yeah, right now the server is empty, so you don't see anything. But uh, you will be able to um, yeah, switch players from one team to the other one, right click on their name, click on move to, also move it to them to a different squad, whatever you want. Or you can also go, uh, it's way easier to just click on their name and drag them to the other team. So like here you have the Americans and here the Russians, just drag them over. Uh, by just once clicking on their name, to the left mouse button, there will be a screen opened over here, which um, will make you able to Kick, kill, ban, ten ban, um, for any reason. You can enter it yourself, and uh, you can also do it via their PBGYD, EAGYD, or um, their IP. So uh, yeah, it's a really useful screen this one. Um, then you have the chat box, and you will see everything was being set in game. So uh, you don't actually have to join the server to admin it. You can also just do it via this tool. Uh, you can, you can there's some small options here in the bottom. You can join if people. You can let it show up if people join or leave the server. Uh, join who kills who and yeah stuff. Uh, yeah, and this button as well. Uh, you can also chat to the players. You can uh, yeah select here to who, to their team, to all players. And there are people in the server. You can also select just one name so it's in private. Uh, just saying it. Uh, will show it up in the normal chat box and uh, besides that you can also just uh, yell it which makes it display in the middle of the screen and back you can uh, select how long you want to show it up there up to 60 seconds um, yeah that's kind of this uh, even here to see what happened to the server lately so uh, right now you see that I logged in so uh, yeah that's it in the list, you see everyone who's got banned. In the ban list, in the map list, you see all your uh, yeah, all the available maps you can add. How many rounds you want it? Select it up to yeah, whatever you want. Um, yeah, and here is your current map list, so you can uh, select. Uh, yeah, I want this one to delete it and you move it back to the other side. Or you can set it up as the next map. So just right click on it and click on set as next map, and then that map will be the next one in the rotation. Just for that round, not permanently. And uh, you can move them by just dragging them over. You can just move them to wherever you want. Uh, then reserve slots. Everyone will get a reserve slot. If you want to add someone, you just type in their um, the lock uh, ID. So the EA ID. Um, that only works with their real name of EA. So, not oh, origin. Uh, nothing else. Uh, yeah, which looks like or something. I don't know. Same for uh, spectator slots. Uh, yeah, you can make them private. Uh, you can kick people off it. There are people in your spectator slots. <laughs> Everything. Then the server settings tab. You got uh, the, uh, the details what it shows up uh, when they join. Uh, so this is server name. You can edit it. Description uh, if you want to edit it. And then the method should I join the server. Configuration, you're able to change everything actually. How your server is set it up. Same in the gameplay, uh, team killing. So if you get kicked for team killing after a certain amount of time or whatever. 
and then uh, if you did that and you want to permanent save them you can copy this uh, config generator and paste it into your uh, startup.txt uh, folder uh, file in your control panel of the server uh, in, your cons in your console you see whatever just happened in the game most uh, important things uh, same for Pungbuster and then uh, here your permanent layer control here you can um, yeah, enable plugins you can download them by clicking on the more plugins button it's only for the, the host of this of the server um, yeah, you can enable bots to spam like this one here, over here. It's spamming uh, some text right now. Uh, yeah, you can do a lot of it. And then on the account section, you can add or remove players um, to the yeah, per permissions and whatever you want. Um, yeah, then you have on the top here, you got uh, this small button for restarting, restarting the round, like it says. And this one is for the next round. Uh, that's actually basically it. Uh, what it gets used for. Um, yeah, if you should have any other questions, feel free to ask me. Send me a PM uh, on our website, fabulouscreatures.com. Or um, you can uh, yeah, just leave a comment be behind on uh, my video. Whatever you want. Um, yeah. If this tutorial would have helped you or uh, like to share with your friends, feel free to like, subscribe, whatever. And uh, hopefully see you guys in the next video. Ciao.